the second installment of B Double Sundays, and today we've got the uh, CT modding flat glass W900, and we've got a different B Double, the uh, Doker Legacy uh, from uh, SWC modding. Man, I love this trailer. And uh, anyway, we're we gonna get going here. We've got 375 miles, but it's all four lane, I think. So it should be pretty good. We're in Oklahoma City, and we're going to Turkum Tukumkari. Uh, that'll be a little slow through town and heading on out to the farm there. And who knows what's going to happen when we get there. But this wasn't too bad parking in here. Got it in pretty good. Just did a U-turn, drove back up to the, uh, all, well, right out to the road, and then just backed it in from the road once I got it straight. So I didn't end up parking it too straight, but we did all right. So, best get on with it. I'm gonna try that C12 from uh, Slav Jerry again. I was kind of intrigued with it, and I just want to drive it on the highway now, because last time I don't think we were as much highway driving as we're gonna get here. Brand new truck. Got one mile on it. I flew over here and drove down the street. <laughs> Put the windows down for a bit. Listen to it. Windows down where we're going slow. Quite a sound. <laughs> um, we've got uh, what we got? Four forty-seven thousand eight hundred and eighty pounds of urea. Which is going to? Uh, I guess I use it. I thought. Oh, I better put the windows up before I try talking. making uh, fertilizer. Oh, what are we doing here? Staying left, okay. <laughs> See, it would have had a choice to make. It had the uh, barricade thingies turned off. Traffic. Do I gotta turn the? That's weird. I must have that turned off. Let's check in the. Oh shoot! Can I not go in the dev console when I'm? Oh yeah, right. Traffic. It's fine. Where we got it at one. There we go. that quiet on the roads. Oh, 
I think that's somebody coming up back there behind us, but I'm going 10 over, so maybe we're a little bit sporty for them. There's a bunch more up here, okay. Not all alone. run this truck uh, in a long time. It's been uh, quite a while. And um, I had it, so in my new mod folder I'm running now, I didn't have it in it. So instead of just moving it from the old mod, mod folder in, I just went and got the latest version of it off my Google Drive, because that's how you get it. You update your Google Drive with it. sitting in the middle of the driving position here, kind of off to the left of it. But anyway, um, yeah, so I figured uh, where to put it. I can't remember what I would have had it with before, which other truck, and I, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I took a chance. Because I know my Outlaw profile with the Outlaw W900 and 359, it doesn't have a whole lot of mods in it, so I thought, well, let's try it. Throw it in with a w, another W900, and it works fine. So that was kind of a relief. Uh-oh. Oh, well, we got to do something in the programming here for this. going to we don't have the wheel cam set up so we've got to find the camera stuff camera wheel cam where is that on wheel camera so click that and we want it on that button and where is the I think the roof cameras what is that well, we, we were using it, but for, yeah, lean out is good. They're awesome. Okay, we've got it now. There we go. This gives a lot, uh, I like this longer view instead of being right on the wheel. And the skin is uh, a seminal transport from Oklahoma City and of course that's where we picked up the load. So it's for homies. <laughs> oh, we can go a little faster now. The 75 zone.
way those fluctuations in the road sure change the exhaust note more than with a lot of engines. beside us over there, I think. Yeah. You can always hear the traffic. Right? It's crazy how uh, much they make their presence known. I turned world sounds off again in this profile, and I think I've been forgetting to do it lately, and I think it might make the audio sound a little better. But the dash color, the pale color, that's uh, sampled from, or I chose it. I guess I gotta look at the template and see. I might have chosen it. Anyway, when you select a custom dash or whatever, that's the color of the stripe, or the, you know, the cream color. If I didn't mention in the uh, beginning of the video, this trailer skin is part of a three skin mod that I have on my uh, uh, Discord. There's a link to it. It's on my Google Drive. how dynamic this engine is. It's pretty loud, but uh, I'll have to... I have the volume and the recording limited, so it won't go too high. And uh, i have to listen to the uh, video, actually, see how this one sounds in the video. Graphics card turned up still, and I do. So this, uh, I believe this 
truck mod is based on a 19, uh, 2020 Kenworth Model L flat glass. Like the look of the flat glass. But it's still, you know, it's still a W900 hood and everything. It's this uh, engine in a logging truck with some rugged terrain and see, you know, <laughs> how it uh, behaves with all of this, uh, how to adjust to the terrain. And I imagine it's going to be interesting. already passed and I didn't notice. We got 50 miles to go. We're doing great, so we're gonna be good on time. I think we could get in the right lane and slow down. Jesse Ruiz jumped on board. That was really cool. I should do a, um, I gotta do a, uh, Al Creek machinery and equipment skin for this truck. That would be pretty cool. Oh, the other thing we gotta do is gotta take a darn, uh, photo. Just like now. 
unconscious. It's actually pretty handy. Let's see how far up the road we're going. A fair bit. And we're gonna have to stop. Oh darn. Trying to pay attention. I've, I've just been driving on autopilot, so gotta pay attention to what's going on on upshifts. Yeah, they're pretty normal. Z mods of DD60 kind of upshifts. up ahead there on the left, a couple miles up the road. The little pickup wagon there in the right corner of the shed there. Need to think. It's a pain in the butt getting in there because that little darn thing sitting there. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Diesel. Lots oh, of diesel fuel. So a lot, you know, I get things sort of going where I need it to. And then next thing you know, I'm, oh yeah, I'm almost there. And I start stepping on the throttle and next thing you know, and then I quit driving it. I give up on the last little bit because I think I've got it. And then I end up with the back trailer all crooked. Maybe not even in the spot. 
so do it a little slower just idle it in here. Be cool if you had to, you know, go right in the darn garage. Like that um, plaster and sense warehouse. That would be more fun. Anyway, you did it. Oh darn it. You didn't boot the horn, you didn't put on the doorways. <laughs> We're fired. Alright, let's get unloaded here. Well, that went really well. That was nice, you know, just a good old blast down the highway and got to have one of those every now and then. Can't spend uh, every video going on a road race circuit or course with all the twisties. But, um, yeah, I like this truck. It's been a while, so skin's up on steam. This, this skin's been out for quite a while. Uh, and like I say, I'll put a link. Uh, do I have a link to that thing by Google? How do I link to that? I'll figure out something for the trailer skin. If you're on my Discord, it's simple. Just go to Goggles Google Drive. <laughs> anyway, as always, really appreciate you guys following along. Once again, big thanks to Jesse for joining. And um, take care. Catch you all in the next one. And bye for now.